hello? Hey, hey, welcome back to Hobbies with Jose, everybody. How are we doing today? I almost said tonight. I'm in the habit of streaming at night. No, it's today. It's not actually morning. Not actually morning. Good afternoon, everybody. Well, depending on where you're at, right? Some of you, maybe it's the morning time. Maybe it's uh, the middle of the night. I don't know. Welcome. Welcome back to the channel on uh, YouTube. You know what? I'm, I think I'm starting to get the hang of... Um, Launching a YouTube live stream and not feeling so stressed out. It's pretty pretty smooth today. You hit a button and hey, okay, we're ready to go live. Okay, go live. Hey, you're live. Okay, good. All right. Thanks, YouTube. <laughs> I don't know if I'm losing my voice today. It sounds a little bit different to me. I don't know if I'm coming through okay here on the uh, on the stream. Um, I don't know why. Uh, it's not like I've been screaming at night because of because of prey on Twitch. No, no, it can't be because of that. <coughs> oh. Anywho. Uh, we're back here for part three. Is this part three? Wait, is this part three? Yeah, it's part three of our live customization Studio Series 86 Spike DNA Design Daniel. We're gonna make some progress. What do we have in the chat first, though? Am I already behind? Uh, 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 uh. Dominic Zen, always dude. What's up? Thank you for being here. AG Lag, thank you for being here. Good to have you. Halo, what's up? Good to see you here, dude. World Conqueror. Wait, hang on. Hang on. I can do this here. No. No. It does kind of work. Sorry. World Conqueror, thank you for being here. Appreciate it. Stellar. Stellar. Thank you for being here. Random Barricade Fat. Hey, what's up, dude? Good of you to be here. Ultra Zero Second Extras. Hi. Hello. Welcome. Welcome. Um, You know what? I don't think I did. I, I think I did um schedule maybe about three hours for this stream. I don't know if it's going to be three hours or if it's going to be less, if it's going to go a little bit over. I don't know. I think three hours is a good amount of time. We're going to be fixing and let me and let me go ahead and switch on over here. We have all of our putty that we've added on to our pieces. I actually did go back the day after and I did um add some more putty because as I mentioned before, when it dries, it kind of tends to sink down a little bit. It contracts. And so I did go back the day after and add some more now. One thing I didn't do is double check it again after that to see if I needed to add it a third time. I didn't do that because I usually don't. So if we have some pieces that are still maybe sunken down, it's okay. We're going to smooth them out as much as we can. Um, I always have the mentality that if some parts are still kind of a little bit concave, it's going to be battle damage. It'll be okay. It'll be all right. I think we'll be okay though. Uh, especially if it's in the back of the head. <laughs> Some major battle damage for Spike. I think we're going to be fine, though. It looks like look like, looks like it's going to be good. Plus, with the hair, I think it has like some waviness to it, which, which we can use that to our, our advantage when we're sending it down. It's not going to be... I'm going to try not make it completely smoothed out, so we'll see. We'll see how we can accomplish that. Um, we have, of course... I think these were the arms for Daniel, right? Daniel's the one that has like the nice, or not nice, the hideous black screw just right on top of the arm. But we added some um, some putty to the top of the hands. I think we'll be able to get that sanded in pretty good. Usually 9 at your place? 9 a.m.? Is it 9 a.m. right now? Like the video, uh, people, there's 13 people watching and three likes. Never mind, 14. Okay, cool. 15. Okay, it's okay. It's okay. Dude. <laughs> yeah, that's a thing. I hope it wasn't difficult for a lot of folks to get onto this stream that that wanted to watch. Um, I know the last two, parts one and two, have been, well, for me, Friday night. Uh, what was it, like 6 p.m. Friday night? Because um, it, it's it's pretty easy. After I got off of work, I have everything set up, and we can start working on the project. But now that we're going to be uh, spray painting today. Uh, let me grab this guy. Can I grab this guy? No, no, yep. Now that we're going to be actually spray painting today, I tend to not want to do that at night um i'd rather do this like in the daytime because i do like to then circulate the area out um for a few hours but what but i have everything ready for that i have my my booth set up on the side i'll probably have to go uh put up the brb screen for for a few minutes while i while i change scenery here irl right but that but that's ready to go and so because of the time change i, I i'm guessing for some folks it's just going to be harder to get on to this one than it was the previous two so for that i do apologize um it is of course going to be up on the channel afterwards you know 
Um, if you can't be here live, you can catch the VOD afterwards. So you'll be able to, to, to at least see it that way. Kentucky. Okay. First time watching live stream and already loving it. Hey, thanks, dude. Appreciate it, man. You know what? I'm going to switch over the music. We're going to make it nice and chill here. Let's bring this down. And we're going to bring this up. I will say... Oh, that sounds good. Can you guys hear it yet? You guys cannot hear it yet. There we go. And let me know if it's um, too loud. Not loud enough. I can adjust it. Sounds pretty good for me, though, but I know it's going to be a different volume for all of y'all. Um, my Today, my body is not ready for, like, almost anything, though. I was uh, with, the, with the folks helping my mom build, like, this uh, IKEA furniture that she had bought. And even even when they're when they say that they're meant for two people, uh, you can you can definitely do it on your own, depending on what it is, right? My Detolf display cases that I have here in my studio, um, they're technically meant for two people, but I, I built them myself. You just have to be careful, especially because there's a lot of glass to go with it, right? Uh, this was like a like a furniture like a cabinet kind of a thing, and you know I managed it on my own. Not loud enough? I can bring it up. It's not supposed to be super loud because it is background. I'll bring it up a little bit. Some parts of the, of the music get a little bit louder than others. So we'll we'll bump it up a bit. I think that's where I usually have it, though. But, um, yeah, so I knocked that out. But, you know, the, you, you get to realize just, just how out of shape you are. And so now today, like, the funny thing is that screwing in the screw, just this motion here, my wrist is now killing me. Now, thankfully, I won't be doing much of this today. Um, but my back, I can feel my back. I can feel my knees. But thankfully, we're just sitting down. We're, this isn't very extraneous, what we're doing here now, you know? Uh, I do have... Let me bring this here. Uh, the same sanding sticks that I've used before, but whenever I'm sanding down putty, though, I want something a little bit harder because I want to try to have it as level as possible. And I, I know I've, I've shown this on my videos a few times. I do have these, um, these really nice sanding sticks here. If I don't... If I don't want to use these, a the problem with these, these are fine, but they're, they only get so wide. Like this is like the more, the more basic one that you can use. Just, just a flat sanding, um, sanding thing here. It's not very wide or it's not as wide as I would like it to be. So I got these and I think these are actually glass. It's a clear, it's a clear filing system. And it comes in three different ones. There's medium, if you can see it, there it is. Medium, fine, and ooh, super fly. I mean, super fine. These have worked pretty well. These have worked pretty well in the past. I think I'm gonna start with the medium one. And we're gonna go with the big one. I don't think we need any anything really to use the small ones. I think I do have links for these on the videos too. These have been great. Might have to do a better job of like cleaning it though. Get like a nice little scrub to clean it. And I do also have uh, this stick. This I use mostly to like buff it smooth afterwards and give it a give it a nice shine. Step one, step two, and then the final step back here. I've had this for like maybe like ten years, you know. I've had it for a long time. I could probably get a, get a new one at this point. <laughs> but it's been working fine. It's been working fine. Um, why do you still have that crappy spike with the other? Oh, wait. What now? Oh, shit. This guy? Get the hell out of here, you. Sorry about that, everybody. I apologize. I don't know how I don't know how that got here. But thanks. Thank you, Dom. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. He does not want to leave. He does not want to leave. We're going to be working on these, though. <laughs> uh, let's see. Now, let's start with the leg here. One thing that I that I never, never, never want to do is to automatically, before I do anything, take off the masking tape. The reason for that is because we do have quite a bit of buildup of the putty on top. If we were to take off the masking tape right now, we do run the risk of lifting up everything that's inside the hole. And we don't want to do that. The way that we're going to fix that is to start sanding it down while the, uh, the masking tape is in place. Right? And just to get it as level right now as possible. And then we can lift off the masking tape. Here we go. 
Let me see if I can give you guys a pretty good view. The good thing is about when it's clear, you can actually see how it's going or need. Look at that. That's awesome. And these weren't expensive. I don't, I don't remember what I paid for them. I don't remember if I got them on Amazon or some other website. I think I don't think it was Amazon. And usually what I do, I put Amazon links. I'm, I'm going to zoom in a little bit. There we go. But they work pretty well. Look at that. You can see what's actually happening underneath. <laughs> uh, unfortunately, it's still in one piece. That thing will not... That thing refuses to be destroyed. <laughs> All right, here we go. Uh. Uh, you know what? For something like this, I might even start. I could even go, even though these, because they're they're a little bit softer and they can bend, I'm not going to worry about it a whole lot. But it might do a better job of taking off a lot of the putty that's here on top. It refuses to be destroyed. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, I'm sure you could do a number on them, Dom. <laughs> there we go. And, I, oh, yeah, that, this is doing a lot better right here, too. This is doing a lot better. Yeah, look at that. Gonna get dusty. There we go. I might even get to the point where I'm starting to actually sand down the masking tape itself, which is fine. No worries there. But that's when we know that we can we can pretty safely remove the masking tape. You still want to be careful though. Hey, Hobbybot, welcome, dude. Thanks for being here, Hobbybot. Whoa. <laughs> Daniel, not Spike, and Javi, but oh, oh, that's right, it is Daniel, right? Yeah, look at that, look at that. I think you can see uh, we're starting to get down to the plastic. So we're gonna go ahead and remove this now. This is where I would, this is where I would try to get as clean of a shot as possible for the for the, for, for for the main videos. It is, it is very satisfying. Whenever you're unmasking something, whether it's from, from putty or especially from paint, if you have something like very nicely masked for paint purposes and then you and then you unmask, it's like you're unwrapping a present. Ooh. Ooh, look at that. One little piece down here on the bottom. There we go. You guys ready? I'll give you a close up here. Oh, come on, you. No, I didn't want to. <laughs> Fold it right back. Related to related to the Daniel here. There we go. Nice. Nice. And now we can continue on with the setting. And I'm still gonna go. I'm still gonna keep using this one here. Cause it's it's quite a quite a high bump on there. Quite a high bump. And even if we start to, uh, what we do want to avoid, especially with this sanding stick because a rougher one, you want to avoid hitting the plastic as much as possible. We will be smoothing it out, obviously. Eh, a lot of it can be avoided too. It's just going to happen. There we go. Okay. That looks pretty good. That looks pretty good. And again, we can, with our with our fingernail, run across. Even though it looks pretty smooth, once you put primer on this, you start. It's gonna it's gonna show you very clearly how not smooth it probably is. Go over with this one here a little bit. I'm going to switch over to, I'll leave this one out here. 
Uh, let's see. I think I'm gonna grab the 800. The first one that we used was the 180. Good place to start. Move on up to 800. And I'm also gonna start um, sending it in the opposite direction or in the perpendicular direction to help clear up these little scratches here as well. There we go. Looking good. Man, once again, the weekends, <laughs> they go by so fast. They go by so fast. I think especially with uh, myself having no less than four streams scheduled. So this is the third of four streams. The other three are over on Twitch. We're playing through Prey, which we're having a great time. Boy, is it nerve wracking though. This is a good change of pace, huh? <laughs> I'm not gonna have any monsters pop out of me here, right? Right? I mean, other than Daniel, but that's okay. We took care of him. <laughs> Pretty good. Yeah, I think we're gonna go to the last uh, sanding stick. Yeah, I do skip. I haven't used any of these. I go right over to the to the finest one, 2500. Almost like a buffer itself. that piece there's a little bit of an indentation but that's because it's filling in the, the it's plugging in the the, uh, the the hole right there that's not too bad um, now the little bit of maybe buildup that we have here on the sides I'm gonna try to clean that up just just kind of scrape it off Clean up the sides there as much as I can. <laughs> there we go. That's looking good. And once we prime it up, if if I need to go over it again with some more sanding, we can. We totally can. Go back and add another layer of priming. This is good, as is. Uh, next up, God, I think I'm going to save the head for last. Only because it's like the most dramatic. Oof. Right. Uh, let's take a look here. Okay. All right. I'm gonna put this sending stick where the other one was, like right up over here. This should be not too difficult. Um, even though it's, I think it's a bit of an angle, but I think the most of the hole was on this section over here. On the angled side favorite figure favorite figure ever oh dude i don't know man i don't know it's hard to say i mean i think before it probably would have been like like a nice masterpiece figure but um it's usually it's usually maybe one of the more uh, recent figures i can tell you right now if we're talking studio series i think right now it would definitely have to be um concept art megatron such a fantastic figure dude such a great figure. I'm just... The fact that it's so good, it kind of bums me out that we never actually got to see him in the movie. You know? Hopefully, there's still hope for that. You know? But it's so great. I'm, I'm definitely happy that we got him in toy form, at least. And be able to have, like, a nice full core team of the, of the Decepticons to go with that nice studio series group for the Autobots. You know? I do plan on getting them all fully repainted eventually. I think I actually have a Studio Series Shockwave delivered today. I, oh, actually, you know what? I think I actually got dropped up at my back door before I started streaming. It's probably there right now. <laughs> Add it to the backlog to be opened. <laughs> I probably will be filming another outside the box. Maybe tomorrow. Today's going to be nothing but streaming. I still plan to be on Twitch tonight. If anybody wants to check that out. Free to do so. Links are below. That's looking pretty good there. 
we're, we're keeping the same angle that we had before. So I'm, I'm sanding the top here and then going at the angle over here. And then over here. Okay. We're probably okay to take off the masking tape. Oh, we also have some back here. Yeah, I forgot about this. This was the uh, bottom section of the thrusters on the arms. They were kind of hollow. This might be a little bit trickier because it is it is supposed to be rounded and we want to try and keep that roundness. You thought it would be that? Yeah. I think it's a lot of people's favorites right now, you know? Hey, Tokayo, what's up, bro? Welcome. There's always a Jose, huh? <laughs> Thanks for joining, dude. Okay. Yeah, it's a little bit hard to tell right now because of the, the masking tape, but we're st we'll still take off a little bit. I don't know if it was also hollow like towards the back end. I don't think so. We'll know for sure once we take off the masking tape though. Yeah, I'm already starting to scrape up the masking tape itself. So, uh, let's take out the front part first. There we go. We have this. Up here. Uh-oh, this one actually ripped. That's okay. Came's off right there. Okay. And then we have the two sides. Yeah, it's still quite a bit thick, so it's it's giving me a hard time to pull off the masking tape, I think. I think a little bit got torn off. We'll take that off once we mask it or once we sand it down further. Oh, this is definitely ripping as well. Yeah, we can sand it more. I'm still gonna go ahead and just remove the rest. There's a little bit of sandpaper still or masking tape rather right there on the edge. Let's work on this. I think we may have actually uh, sanded off some of the paint here, like on the top knuckles. That's interesting. We'll totally get that repainted. Is it scary uh, when you remove the masking tape? Usually this part, when I'm removing masking tape from putty, not so much. Not so much, because we're still it's still like a rough work right now. Um, when, when it's actually something that you painted over, it can be. It can be. But I mean, I think that with practice, um, you get... You get fairly confident as far as um, how you mask things. You you tend to have an idea how to go about how to how to go about it so that you minimize as much bleeding as possible. But it still happens though. But even if it does does happen, you can fix it. You know, you can fix it. Hey, David Cadilli, what's up, bro? Welcome, bro. Thanks for joining, man. Do you have a Gamer Edition Star Scream? Um, I honestly have about seven, eight, nine boxes to open up. I mean, I have a backlog for to film the outside of the box, and I think Gamer Starscream is in one of them. I'll probably get to him eventually. I know I'll get to him eventually. I don't know exactly when, though. <laughs> I've heard mixed things about him, though. Especially the arms, right? Hey, who is this? Boing Mania, Boing Nania. Hey, welcome. Thanks for joining. Good to have you here. I'm not sure if the masking tape is still on the side here. I think I already sanded it off. Looks pretty good. A little bit more.
It's looking pretty good. I mean, I think it's an improvement over how it was before. Now there just isn't like a gaping hole there, you know? I'm going to still go over with the other sanding sticks here. And just smooth it out a bit. <clears throat> All right. There we go. Yeah, I don't see... I don't see any masking tape that has hung on to the piece. I think we're good. Yeah. Um, what was that one there? We'll grab this last one here. Don't want to try and hit it. Actually, you know what? Let me hit it with the middle one at the perpendicular direction. This is a little more tricky to get to. better idea how it actually is once we get the primer on there too and of course I will be painting over the screw itself too um, somebody had mentioned on I think on the first stream I was gonna plan on applying putty but it does need to turn for the transformation so we're keeping it like that hopefully if it's just white it'll maybe just kind of blend into the design of the figure itself hopefully but at least it won't be black it won't just stand out for that What's poppin'? Nothing much, dude. How you doing, man? Thanks for being here. Is it better to use a fingernail file as opposed to sandpaper or a sanding block? I don't think it's better, but the fingernail files, <coughs> because they're not meant for hobby, that you're not gonna get the different the different grades of, of of the sanding. You know, it's just gonna be like a standard sanding, and that's it. You're not gonna get one that's that's particularly smoother to smooth out the thing. So I think for that reason alone, it's not ideal to use that i remember one of my co-workers like i don't know 15 years ago gave me like a pack of um uh, nail sanding sticks that his wife didn't use anymore and he knew i like hobby models he's like hey you could use these right yeah thanks i'll use them i still have them saved i've, I've, I've <laughs> have never used them probably will never use them it was nice of them <laughs> uh, all right this is good oh actually no we're, we're not done with it yet i thought you were using um nail files that were cut to size no this is a this is like a whole set and you see the numbers here dictate how rough um or how smooth the the sanding stick is the lower the number the rougher it is it's a it's a very nice kit too i love it comes in a i think i think they sell these separately but you kind of need them both because then the numbers get higher meaning they get a lot smoother i think i have um links to these in my various videos not a sponsor, by the way, but the links are affiliate links. So I'll probably get like a nickel out of that, you know. <laughs> uh, okay, we have the back side here. We did sand it down a little bit. Let's go ahead and take off that masking tape. I still got to get your masterpiece figure, David. I still got to grab that from you, dude. I did finally use the French press this morning. Oof, oh my God, what a what a life changer. Coffee hot off the French press, man. I'm excited to, to get some different types of coffees. Okay, so now we have a much better idea. And you know what? It, it wasn't even that hard to clean too, man. I think because it's like a newer model. Um, the grounds don't get like in the actual unit itself, like in the parts that filter out the grounds. It's kind of rinsed it out, you know? There we go. Yeah, this shouldn't be too tricky, but we do want to try to keep the roundness. Oh, there's also, there's um, this line going across it. I can try to recreate that here in the bottom. Um, I do have a scribing tool. 
because it's on a curve, it's on a round part, I don't know if I would use that. Maybe just my X-Acto knife and just kind of carve into it. But it's, it's going to be like in the bottom of the arm, so you're not really going to see that a whole bunch. As long as it's filled in, I'll be happy. Okay. <laughs> Excited to see how the figure comes out. Still in the box on my desk. You've transformed him just that one time, right? <laughs> I have I have the, the blue version skid still on my display case. It's a nice figure. Just the one time. Yeah. I would say it's one of the less complicated masterpiece transformations. Some of the bigger ones can get Pretty freaking complex, dude. Okay. <laughs> I think there's going to be a little bit of an indentation here on the back end. I'm going to keep sending it there. I could also just drill a hole here. Because it is an exhaust. We could do the same thing that we did on the backpacks. part folding the arms back into vehicle mode mm -hmm. some weird twist that don't feel don't feel natural yeah that's always exciting uh especially when we hear the plastic moving around you want to you want to avoid like stretching it putting stress marks into it too you know a lot of times the transformations don't help with that let's go with the next one Last one. Bring out the shine. <laughs> oh, wow, you can definitely see how it's shiny now. <laughs> Look at that. Uh, let's see here. All right. And I'm just going to roll my blade across. going to have a very little impression on it. <laughs> uh, we'll get a better view of it once we have it primed up too. Not going to be perfect. But at least it's, it's an impression of it continuing. All right. Minor, minor details. Cover this bad boy up. And we'll do the same thing here with the other arm. Mm 
much easier. Pretty good. Uh, we'll still keep going a little bit. direction perpendicular <laughs> final buffing shine very good and onto the back oh this one looks very much caved in too I think this one might be more noticeable well let's see what we can do See, it's very similar. Similar little indentation there. That's not too bad. That's not too bad. This one. really see the shine there we're definitely going to clean up the putty that got into the sides here with that panel lining and I'll try to give it the same panel line all the way through
Whoop. Stay on target. Oh wow, this one looks a little better. I think if anything more noticeable, fine again we'll get a much better look once a primer hits it maybe make some other adjustments to it if need I think it'll be fine though and then lastly we have the uh, the arms arms oh. <clears throat> these are for actual spike very gappy on the inside though right yeah that's the outside of the arm we filled in some pretty big sections back here. And again, I did go back and add some more um, putty up on top. But even then, you see how how flat it's already looking? Was it enough? Let's find out. This guy. Look at that. That is that is a pretty clean job. We still have to sand it down quite a bit. But we got over the exact parts that we wanted to. I think that's going to be enough to... Maybe there's a tiny little section back here that might, might still be noticeable. Too bad, not too bad, a little bit more.
pretty flat. There was, there it does look like there's a panel line that continues on from this section all the way across here. You can see I'm barely right there, but I'm just gonna leave that as is. I'm not gonna worry about trying to put that panel line on there. Again, it's mostly like on the inside of the arm. At the very least, it's not gonna look super hollow. Let's smooth this out even further here. <clears throat> Go across this way. Not too bad. I'll take it. Oh, hang on a second. Hang on. Hang on. I see it now. I hope I can fix it. <clears throat> uh, let's see. If not, that camera might just be out of commission. Uh, here we go. Oh, that camera's gonna be out of commission now. Hang on. Uh, let's see. Usually when these cameras are out. There we go. We back? Gotta zoom back in. It can be tough to uh, get them back up and running, especially on stream. I don't think that's ever happened on stream. Hopefully it doesn't keep happening, but at least we know we can fix it. Thanks, dude. Appreciate, appreciate. Uh. All right. We have uh, one more arm to do. That turned out pretty well. This is probably going to be the most um, questionable part. I remember when I did the weapon on um, Detritus, Detritus into uh, Hound, his weapon is like super gappy. Um, and so much so that when I try to uh, sand it down as flat as possible, you can still kind of see sections of the area that were hollow. We might still be able to see it once we get it primed up, especially like on the, on the sides here, but that's okay though. It's still, it's still a vast improvement. I see, I think over what was on there before. There we go. All right. Uh, I think we're making pretty good time here. We're at an hour. We have the last piece that we're sending out. We still need to mask things up. That's probably gonna take ooh, a little over a half hour. And what we're ma masking up afterwards is gonna be all of the parts that we don't want any paint to get on. Like for example, any ball joints or any pegs that are gonna be used for the transformation, we wanna make sure that they are paint free. Dorian, what's up dude, welcome. Ultra zero second, hello, welcome. Thanks for joining. Uh oh, I think this has a little bit of an indentation here. Mm, I think it'll be fine, it'll be fine. <laughs> and even if, not, if it isn't, it'll be bad with damage, baby. Yeah, metal, metal can bend. <laughs> All right. Okay. I think we're starting to hit the masking tape, so we'll we'll definitely take that off here.
beautiful. We did get some putty on the sides here, I think. Yeah, a little bit of putty on the sides here. We didn't apply the masking tape like over the corner as much as we probably should have, uh, but that's okay. We can definitely still get that putty off. Trying to get this little corner section. Okay. Gonna grab my tweezers here. and pick out a little bit of putty that got in here. There we go. I think that's good. I will have to clean up this panel, this panel line. Cause that's got a bunch of putty in it. It would basically disappear if we were to add the primer on top of that. We have some more here on this side up, if you can see it, if you can see it. <laughs> Let me check the other arm now. Yeah, the other arm also has the same potty on this little section here. Let's clean that up too. Okay, so we have that. Let me clean these up a little bit. <clears throat> I think that's still good for a lot of uses too. And I've used this one quite a bit. These things are so good. Up. 
I don't know. I like I like cleaning my tools. <laughs> as much as I like using them. It's it's good practice. Makes them last longer too. can't see it it's like in this in this corner but a little mountain of putty I do have this, oh god, what do you call this, Let's zoom out, <clears throat> styrofoam pad that, I, that I've saved from some kind of a package years ago, but this stuff's good to stick the alligator clips to. They sell, the, they sell a lot of them, um, they sell some um, meant for like hobby models. I just like the spaciousness of this one. Put this over here. Lucky because started at noon, for me, I'll be uh, able to stay for the whole straight nights, nice, dude. That's awesome. Let's zoom a little bit back in here. Oh, you know what? We forgot one thing. Yeesh. <laughs> this guy's like, hey, what the F, dude? You forgot about me. All right, let's let's get to let's get the spike. <laughs> oh shoot. <clears throat> Here we go. Oh man. Oh boy. Use foam. Yeah, it, it helps. It does a job. And again, we're going to keep the roundness here. Thank you, hobby bot. Appreciate you. Okay. Can we remove the masking tape? All right, this is gonna this is gonna sting a little bit, Spike, but you're gonna be okay. Make a full recovery, dude. Come on, come on. Look at that. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Beautiful. It's looking a heck of a lot better already. Maybe a little bit flat. That's okay. That's okay.
Yeah, you can start to see where the hole was actually formed. Uh, the bottom section is going to be tough to get to, though. Thought I'd go at a bit of an angle. I think it's still kind of sticking out from the bottom a bit. If I run my fingernail across, though, doesn't doesn't feel like it. I think my mallet might be okay. I think we're going to be okay. Oh, this one up, 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 up. So 180. I'll start to work with the 800. I think that'll do. It's just practice, dude. That's all it is. The more you do it, the more you're going to get better at it. I guarantee it. Yeah, okay, that's good. All right. Have we forgotten anything else? Put you there, put you there, put you right there. <laughs> All right. Masking. And once again, it's going to be pretty much all of the parts that we don't want any paint to get to. I think for this head, for Spike, the entire mechanism, um, this section down below that helps us to turn the head. We don't, we don't need paint on it. We're not going to see it. We're going to see the part in the back, but this can remain unpainted. I'm not really going to worry about it too much. So I'm going to go ahead and just mask out the entirety of that bottom section. Oh, let me, let me re-clean up this little area here. I'll clean it up much better with some with some all-purpose surface cleaner afterwards. Hey, Styrek, what's up? Welcome. Thanks for joining. All right. So we're going to get our masking tapes. Comes in. I think it comes in more than three sizes, but these are the only ones that I've ever used from Tamiya. There is one other one that I have that's like a much fatter roll than this that I use to mask up like bigger sections but it's not made by Tamiya um, but it works really well I don't know what the brand is but I also have I do have that link in the description of other various videos that I've had in the past but I think for the most part we're probably going to get away with the uh, the two smaller ones I still have them here though 
and especially for this bottom part you know what we can probably use the big one for this bottom section here because it is it is quite a bit substantial grab a little bit and i think that should be okay Just over like that and then fold in all the other sections we'll use our tweezers to really push in the top of the masking tape here I think I'm going to put some more up on top here. Help to hold it all in place. I'll use this middle size one. Yeah, we're masking to prepare for the primer right now. So this this section, this like little lever that we use to uh, to turn the head. I don't, I mean, I definitely don't want paint on the inside of it, but I don't think I want paint on the lever itself. We're gonna mask it up. There we go. And it doesn't need to be perfect. There's gonna be obviously maybe a little bit of paint that gets in here, uh, maybe even on the other side. And that, that's fine too. We can always, if we need to, if it, if it prevents the head from turning or if it makes it too tight, we can always sand it down too. We can always send it down. That one's good. Now, uh, we have all of my um, alligator clips. You see all these green ones? These were from um, Hound. Uh, these red ones, I don't know what I... What was the last thing I did? Oh, with the red parts of Slug. <laughs> uh, we still have some purple ones from, from Shockwave. <laughs> We've got these colors. I've actually cleaned these... Uh, a while back, I think at the beginning of the year, because I, they, these are the same alligator clips that I've used for like 10 years. So you can imagine the paint buildup over time can get to be a little bit crazy. I also have some alligator clips that have these uh, little rubber coatings on them so that you're not, you're, you're uh, preventing from making these little indent, indents from the teeth onto the plastic. It doesn't really help a whole lot though. In fact, it prevents the alligator clip from grabbing onto the figure that well, but they do serve a purpose though. They do serve a purpose. This guy's done. Let's see, I'm gonna, and I'll put him right up in the corner here. And I think I'm gonna leave all of the, all of the spike parts on one side and then all of the Daniel parts on the other, just to help keep it organized too. Otherwise it's gonna be mayhem. We don't want mayhem. We want to prevent mayhem, right? Yeah, yeah. Although I did uh, all these pieces here, they kind of they're pretty thoroughly mixed in there. <laughs> pretty thoroughly mixed. That's okay. We have the torso pieces. I think I want to try and prevent paint from getting on the inside and definitely these ball joints. Oh, also by the way, this piece since it is nylon. I do also have my special nylon primer that we're going to use. There was one small piece on slug that was nylon and it did seem to help a bit. Still wasn't perfect though. There was a little bit of paint that came out, but I think it's, it's, it's better to use this. If I use just a regular primer, which I, I normally use my Alclad uh, two primer and micro filler. I think the paint would flake up quite a bit more on it. So we're going to use this. Since I'm curious how it's going to work since it's, it's a much bigger piece here. We'll see. Can't be any worse. But I think on, on the front side, we do want to prevent um, primer and paint from getting in this. Otherwise, it's going to make it really tough to get these two pieces joined together afterwards. So I'm just going to grab some pieces. And again, it's not going to be perfect. Maybe 
about that much. And just kind of place it on the inside here. There we go. Getting over some holes here. other smaller holes here on the bottom I think I'll use my smaller masking tape for those get one of these corners fold over themselves it's gonna be tough gonna be tough I think I'm gonna cut a little piece off of these because they're gonna go over the piece itself sorry I know it's like at the edge of the screen here There we go. Just a little better. And one more. Oh, come on, don't don't do the same thing. There you go. Give it the same cut on the corner. Now you can't see any of it, sorry. Okay. Go. As far as where we're going to put the alligator clip, um, I think I'm just going to do it right on top here. Since, let me check. Uh, let's see, the head's going to go in. So part of the uh, part of this circular section is going to go on top here. But not the, the entirety of it. So maybe I do want it to make sure it's looking nice and clean and not partially blocked off from the uh, from the paint from the look of it. So I'm gonna I'm gonna put it inside here. That's good. As long as it has a good grip of it, that'll work. <laughs> uh, this guy, same thing. Mask off this section. Definitely mask off the little ball joints in the bottom. Can we get away with a big one? Or is it too big? I think it might be too big. I think I can really get to these bottom ones because there's so much so much on the edge I can get I can get this little masking tape around it but it's gonna be such a small piece it's just gonna fall right off so that we might have to just sand down a little bit after painting it to combine them put the two pieces together which is fine Use a 
pass the tape to come around here. Get in here. Get in here, dude. Come on. Uh, trying to get stuck on me. Huh? There you go. Okay. I think that's good on this one. Plenty of spots to put the alligator clip. Right inside there will work fine. It's good to go. Uh, let's see. We have uh, Daniel's pieces. We'll finish up the rest of the parts for Daniel. Now, the only part that I want to prevent primer and paint from getting into is in, in this section where the uh, mushroom peg goes. But because it's 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 kind of like really dug in there, it's going to be tricky to get masking tape. So another thing that I do instead of using masking tape is using uh, poster putty. It's really helpful for this. Just grab a little piece. And, I, and again, I've had this for like more than five years. So a lot of the a lot of little bits I, I tend to reuse. But we'll grab a little piece. And we're just gonna shove it right in here. Just as cleanly as we can. And now that is gonna remain paint free. So when we're doing the reassembly, it shouldn't be overly tight. And of course, we'll mask up the actual mushroom pegs themselves. Now, as far as getting the alligator clip, we're not really left with many uh, spots. We can we can plug it down here, but that's going to leave um, some sections without paint. We don't want that. I think right in the spot that we uh, inserted the the poster putty. We can also just kind of jam in the alligator clip itself. That'll be nice and clean, right? Just like that. There we go. Beautiful. We'll do the exact same thing for the other one. Grab a little poster putty. Just, just, just shove it right in. It's pretty much the same thing. The little area here where the ball joint's gonna go. We're gonna add a little poster putty in there. If any paint gets in the back here, actually we probably wanna prevent paint from getting um, into these little sections where the wheels are gonna attach. Otherwise, that's gonna be overly tight, preventing them from turning, which does happen quite a bit with my customs, but if the wheel doesn't turn, it's like such a minor thing. 
But the ball joints, we wanna we wanna block those. I think what I will do is use some masking tape for the bottom sections and we'll go with the thin one. Doesn't need to be overly overly thick for that. I shall put it uh, right here. Perfect. Yeah, yeah. That should get the job done. And do the same thing on the other side. So we have that section masked up. Spot where the ball joint's gonna go, masked up as well. If pink gets on the inside of everything else, that's perfectly fine. It's a hollow bit anyways. I don't know if they ever made any um, <clears throat> any aftermarket parts, gap fillers for this core class figure. I don't think so. I don't think I ran into any. I think we're gonna just mash in the alligator clip right in the ball joint section too. That should be good. Do the same thing on the other leg. So far, three hours sound like it's going to be pretty reasonable, I think. Come on. This one's more stuck to the tweezers. Come on, dude. You can do it. There we go. No, no, that's not it, dude. There we go. You got it. Degato, what's up? How you doing? Thank you for joining. <clears throat> Grab here. Up the other side. And there we go. <clears throat> okay. uh, what else do we have for Spike? Um, we have the actual wheels themselves. This, uh, we can probably put a tiny bit of um, poster putty. Yo, what's up, dude? Tattoo Geek, gonna finish him today? <laughs> ah, chilling on Sunday. Alka Seltzer, uh oh. That means you party hard on a Saturday night? <laughs> this is gonna be tough to get to, though. Uh, let me see. If we put. 
just a tiny bit of poster putty over these um, peg sections. I think that'll work. But then we have to think how we're going to actually hold it. I think we'll probably, probably be able to grab it with an alligator clip, but it's going to be kind of delicate. I think that might do it. I think that'll be good. I think it'll get the job done. Yeah, I honestly don't know how many more parts there are going to be to this project. Uh, the next one, we are going to spray paint the white. I think that's the only color we're actually going to spray paint. All the other grays, the, the, the gray section, I think I'm going to paint by hand. I haven't exactly decided yet. But then maybe after that, it'll be some other fine, um, finer details getting painted on. Dry brushing, weathering, panel lighting, maybe like two or three more parts. That should, I think, be good. Yeah, this should get the job done, I think. We'll see how it goes. Uh, these wheels are different. This is the one that kind of got mangled up. Um, on the disassembly, you can see ooh, this section here looks a little bit rough. I tried to clean it up a little bit afterwards, sanding it down, but because it's the softer nylon, this is next to impossible to sand down. I went over it with the, uh, with the blade. You can only do so much. Now, the other wheels, I think these are the ones that go under the um, arms. I don't know where exactly. But these have different kinds of pegs where they connect. So we're just going to mask this entire section to prevent paint and primer uh, from getting on there. So that hopefully it can still, it can still roll afterwards. Perfect. does he have we have the shoulder sections uh, these are the uh, upper leg sections uh, let me see I don't remember this has to be part of him too right because I don't think uh, Daniel had any of the light blue nylon parts we have these I think that's it I think everything else is for Daniel so these upper leg sections once again Parts where the uh, ball joint's gonna go into, uh, putty that up with poster putty, and then we'll mask up the lower ball joints. I think this is gonna last me like about 10 to 15 more years. Then maybe I'll need to consider getting some more.
then some masking tape. Hmm, okay. Now I don't want to get too high up from, from the baldrum because that little section that has the ridges, we're definitely going to paint that. We don't want that to be unpainted. The tricky part is that it is nylon, but it's together with a regular plastic piece. So I don't think, I don't think I'll, I'll be able to get the nylon primer on top of this. It's going to be tricky, but it's such a small piece. So even if paint starts coming off, we'll just retouch it up. Just like that. Just like that. And we can definitely put the alligator clip just over the ball joint itself if we can. Ah, yes. Just barely. Or we could have shoved it up on top, but this is fine. Feels more secure. Put that right there. Good to go. Uh, these guys, we're just gonna mask up that that shoulder of shoulder um, mushroom peg. That's all we're gonna do. This one should be big enough for that. shove this right in here in the back doesn't feel very secure though actually that's not bad or I could just put it over over the mushroom peg yeah yeah that'd be better Alrighty, I think that's it for Spike. Now we're gonna have the pieces. Oh no, wait, two more, two more. Forgot about these guys. There's always there's always a last little piece that I forget, huh? And what's going on here? I think we have two mushroom pegs on this one. Up here and down here. I don't think something connected here. I don't quite remember. But we're gonna leave that alone. And just get, just get the two mushroom pegs. I think I can use a smaller masking tape for that. The other side's a little bit bigger. I think I'm gonna go with the medium. Medium sized masking tape for that. Yep, 
There we go. Put them there for now. This is the smaller one over here. And there we go. Both pieces here. Let's get these on alligator clips. I hope I have enough. There's still quite a few pieces for Daniel. I wonder if I can just kind of shove this in here. Will that, will that work okay? Does there need to be paint inside of there? I'm really, I'm really trying to No, I think that connected to the body, right? No? Or that connected to the arm. I can't even tell anymore. Oh, wait. That's where the wheel connects. That's where the wheel pegs in. So we are perfectly okay in not putting any paint in there. That's the, that's the way to do it. Same thing on this guy. There we go. Now we have Daniel working with the littler dude. Thankfully, his arms are just like one piece now. <laughs> Let's go with the chest piece first, though. Hey, Shadow Wave, what's up? Welcome. Thanks for joining. Oh, this little guy actually has waist rotation, so the... Um, the lower torso piece connects here on the bottom. Oh, no, wait, that, that's for the head. The head's a peg, but the waist connects down here. I think I'm going to add a little bit of uh, poster putty in there. Shove it right in there, come on. Yeah, if it overlaps a little bit, that's fine. But I think here on the bottom, hmm, we're gonna add a little bit of tape to prevent paint from getting over the entirety of the bottom section, because that is gonna make the waist rotation get overly tight. So I'm just gonna go over it with this here. Not over the entire section. A good little bit. And we'll go over this peg hole, or I think that's a screw hole. Uh, over it like that. That should be good. Yeah, that should be good. And in the back here. Just like that. Shove this in even more. Come on. Perfect. Okay. That one over here. Thank you. 
perfect. Over here. And the arms, the only um, part we really want to block off is where the little tiny ball joint goes in there. So we'll grab a little poster putty for that. try to shove in the alligator clip inside of there. It's going to be a bit of a tight fit, I think. That's ah, fine. So a good grip. We don't want it to fall down. I think it's fine. That'll work. some of the bigger sections we do have the legs still kind of pegged in that's working beautifully we could maybe um, tape these together and that will really ensure that we don't get any paint on the inside um, let's see if I can do that Will that even be possible? Nah, it's gonna be tricky because it's, it's it is moving around quite a bit. keeps it kind of in one place and I'll put one alligator clip um, grabbing them both I think that should work right back here maybe you can see that Give it a little bit of a shake just to make sure it's not going to try to fall. And I'm obviously not going to be shaking it while I'm air, airbrushing it, but just to make sure it's pretty secure, I'm just going to be, if anything, just turning it, right? Okay, you masked off the mushroom pegs. Are you going to mask off the mushroom peg slots so they're not a wanted paint buildup in them? So the mushroom peg joints aren't over tight. Yeah, I already did that. That was um, some other sections where in the slots themselves, I added poster putty the same way as in the sections that have the ball joints connected to them and then we'll remove the the putty after we're done painting so yeah keep them paint free as possible because they will get tight they will get tight now obviously if a figure was loose then maybe i wouldn't care so much if some paint got in there that'll help with the tightness you know this one i think these figures were overly okay though yeah but we did I think this is going to be good for this. I think I think I miss some. Which ones? Can you be specific? <laughs> like on this piece here? And what was the medium size? not on that there the ones on the foam so pretty much all any something that i did for um spike yeah i'll go back and take a look uh, put this right in here and a 
shove it right into place. Yeah. Yeah, this thing, this whole thing keeps rotating though, see? Keeping that in place can be tricky. Right there. Right there. Look at it's grabbing both pieces. Okay, you want to be careful and add the alligator clip to it. Pretty secure. Pretty secure. That's not going anywhere. So something on spike, huh? See, this is one of the mushroom peg section. Well, a section where a mushroom peg will be inserted. And we got the poster putty in there. It's blocked off. Uh, what else? This is an actual mushroom peg. Masked off. Oh, is there going to be one in here, you mean? Is this what you're talking about? You know what? I think this is it, dude. There's going to be a mushroom peg that goes in here, right? That's the one. Yeah, we'll definitely add some poster putty. Thanks, dude. I knew there was a reason you were here, bro. Thank you. Look at that. Coming in clutch. Saving the project on the 11th hour. Look at that. Right in there. I missed a whole bunch. <laughs> I don't doubt it. But even then, if that were the case, we can always sand down the mushroom peg itself too. If it's not one of the nylon ones though, nylons would be tricky. There we go. Uh, let's take a look at the others here. There. there we go. Should be good. Uh, let me see what other ones we have. These were the shoulder sections. Two actual mushroom pegs. The wheel's gonna go in here. Nothing that's gonna have a mushroom peg attached to it, I don't think. Uh, the legs, ball joint at the knee, and little peg sections for the wheels in the back. That's it for that. We already saw the arms, the upper legs have a ball joint and a section where a ball joint will be connected. And then it's just the torso after that. There's gonna be, I think, a mushroom peg in here. We can maybe add some poster putty, not on top of it, because we want paint to be on this side, but maybe like on the inside there. And the index finger, oh, up here, where the where the head, where that's gonna go. I mean, it's going to get covered up by this guy here. But. I don't want to 
want to shove it in all the way. Not entirely though, huh? Or is it going to go like that? Let's go, it's going to go like this. Yeah, we can add, well, I don't know if poster putty is going to do it. Yeah, we can just flatten that out in there. Here, let's do this. Let's make a tortilla. Oh, I mean, I can go for a burrito right now, too. And then we'll shove it inside. If it wants to stay. And that way it'll still have paint on the on the top side. Yeah, that'll help. And we'll also put the poster putty in the sides too. Just right inside here. ahead or I could tell which part it might be this one which is just nylon on nylon that's gonna go in that um, mushroom pegs um, insertion here the problem with this though is that you're still gonna have a painted section on the outside that's gonna be rubbing up against a painted section that's gonna be on this unless I mask this entire section the problem with that is that when you're gonna be turning it you're going to see parts of the inside here, right? And that's that's one of those things that we can't really prevent entirely from having the paint um, rub up against each other. And to sand this down is almost going to be impossible, you know? We'll get the joints themselves and where they go inside. But these, these sections here, we'll see how they end up working. Tighten them afterwards. Well, if... If you're covering up the joints, I mean, especially if it's a loose joint. If it's a loose joint, I probably won't care too much about covering it. Um, it always depends. But yeah, there are ways of tightening them afterwards. All right. So we have that. Ryan Fisher, what's up, dude? Welcome. Some really tricky parts here for Daniel, though. Like these sections here, I still don't know how we put them back. That's going to be fun during the reassembly. Uh, well, what do we mask here, huh? There's going to be, I think, a tiny <laughs> mushroom peg here in the bottom, I think. Right? Was it the upper leg? Yeah, there it is. Oh, man, these sections were so freaking... So freaking tiny. One's going to go to the hip. One's going to go to the upper leg. Don't quite remember how it went. Oh, that's going to be fun to put back together. Yeah. Okay. So we want to put a little bit of the poster putty in here. Uh, maybe on top of this section here. And yeah, I'm thinking cover these up because they're going to go over or inside of this lower leg section. 
we can probably cover up the entirety of the thing too. Yeah, this part it's it's very it's very differently designed. It's not obviously Hasbro didn't do this mess. <laughs> this is DNA design, but it's very different from what we normally see on the insides of like Transformers' legs. I I think we don't I think we don't see any anything from inside of, of this bottom part here though. But I'm I'm afraid to mask the entire thing. Uh, we might see it from the back. <clears throat> That's gonna be fun. It's gonna be fun. I should probably go back and rewatch part one, huh? <laughs> All right. I mean, whatever happens, happens. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. No, and then you're gonna see even removing the poster putty can be fun too. We're gonna to start peeling it off with the uh, with the tweezers, but sometimes it really wants to stay in there too. And so if you don't take it all off entirely, that can probably cause another issue for the joints as well. <laughs> good times, good times. All right, we'll do this. Again, try not to cover up parts that will actually be showing. Cover up that section there. Maybe the, try to get this entire side covered up too. I think that'll be good. Because that might rub, be rubbing up against the inside of the leg too, so we'll play it, we'll play it safe. it for this piece this guy no that's not gonna work I'll put him right right on there perfect two hours there's a chance now we might go over the three hour mark which is okay Do have to jump on Twitch at 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, so there is a limit to how far we can go here. <laughs> we have plenty of time, though. There we go. You know, I should probably get some lunch after this. <laughs> I should probably eat. I did have a good breakfast, but that was around like I don't know, nine o'clock. I don't want to be playing a game hangry tonight <laughs> uh, come on over here what are you what are you doing what are you doing just like that just like that found it bought bbm shockwave today nice hell yeah Again, I think mine's just sitting right outside my back door. I'll probably get to open him in a couple of months. <laughs> it's so good! Nice. Nice. Bummer that he's missing some articulation though, right? What is it, the uh, bicep swivels? Not on there? I guess because of the design of the figure. I think that's good. Yeah. Biceps, yep. Put this right over here. There we go. All right, I'm gonna put the rest of the pieces out here in view. We do have the little dude's head. We'll definitely uh, mask up the peg at the bottom. Still want to do to turn. It can be fixed. Maybe DNA will will kid some up. 
maybe uh, hopefully i don't know if it's something that that we can do like as a customization you know like make our own bicep swivel maybe there's a way maybe there's a way oh shoot this does not want to stay on here there it goes There we go. We got it. We got it. Perfect. Yeah, I'm definitely going to have, I think, just enough alligator clips to get on here. Uh, what else? What else? What else? God, man, this... Jesus. Ugh. My fingers are starting to hurt. Busted Transformers lying around. <laughs> I know, right? We're going to need some plastic here. Hey, you know what? I might. <laughs> I'm looking at the floor right now. <laughs> I might have one. Not exactly busted, but he's not wanted. <laughs> this is a perfect uh, calming stream when applying Toy Hacks labels. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty chill. It's pretty chill. I think instead of masking tape for these mushroom pegs, though, I'm going to use poster putty because it's so small. Uh, pieces, sections that small, that's tough to get the masking tape around, as you saw, like on the peg for Daniel's head. And it tends to come off pretty easily, too. So we'll just go with poster putty. There's one. I honestly don't know what I'm going to have for lunch after this. I'll probably have a few hours before tonight's stream. But I should have something. There we go. Those two are good to go. And I'll put the clip just right over one of them. Perfect. You little freaking piece. God damn nabbit. There we go. Gonna have to step out here soon to do some meal prep before the week. Okay. Sounds good, dude. No worries. I appreciate you haven't been here. Made some mac and cheese. Oh, that's good. With peas. Fired up hand for lunch. Oh, that sounds really good. That sounds really good. What game are you streaming on Twitch? Right now we're playing through uh, Prey from, I think it's 2017, Prey. It's a pretty suspenseful, pretty jump scary kind of a game. One of my viewers, one of my longtime viewers on Twitch used 50,000 Twitch points to select that game from my backlog for us to play. We were in the middle of playing uh, Tears of the Kingdom. So we're putting a pause on that. We're playing through uh, Prey and we're having a good time. It's good. It is good. I think it's shaving off like about five years from my lifespan, though, from all the, from all the jump scares. But it's good. It's good. Totally worth it. <laughs> yeah, the link's down below if anybody wants to join that. Or if you can't catch it live, I do also post them on my second YouTube channel, Hobbies with Ogizay Gaming. Link is also down below. They get posted about two days after. Two days after. Okay, that one's good. Hasbro New Transformer Studio Series 86 Dinobot. Swoop! Hell yeah! Yeah, I love it. Love it. What do we have here? We have feet. We have some tiny feet with some tiny uh, ball joints. We know we're Actually, they're so tiny, I think we're going to also use poster putty for them. Just woke up. Best effing naps. Nice. Congrats. <laughs> Good progress is being made. Hey, Gary, what's up, dude? Thanks for joining. Yeah, I'm making pretty good progress here. We're going to start airbrushing, I think, pretty soon. Getting the final sections masked up where we don't want any paint to get on, like, little ball joints. There we go. Got a cover of that. Nice. And we have the other one here as well. There we go. Oh, that might have been a little bit too much here. Might 
that's still been a bit much. Take a little bit off. Look at that big ass ball joint now. Okay. Oh shoot. This one doesn't open up that wide. There we go. And we'll have to grab another one. Focus. There we go. $100 on pizza? Excuse me? What? Are you having a party, dude? Oh, snap. Ah. Be the bad person. <laughs> My way to a nearby Walmart to see if they have anything new. So they have legacy shrapnel and or crosscut. Yeah, we're seeing a lot of those. I think the few times that I go uh, retail shopping, crosscut, a lot of shelf warmers here. Feels like it. <laughs> too much pizza leads to too much time in the bathroom. <laughs> Speaking of bathroom, we have the crotch plates here. Big ass shoulder peg up on top, uh, mushroom peg. Here, though, there's going to be a screw hole. Ah, this is going to be tricky, but I think, I think I'm going to add just some poster putty here on this inside section. There's going to be two other mushroom pegs. And we'll get that shoved in here. There we go. And some masking tape up on top. on the inside there might just be my uh, neurodivergent ass anyone else like not talk like 30 minutes after waking up talk like to yourself to people in general I don't usually talk that much now <laughs> going on 20 hours since the last meal dude dude oh my lord Uh, where did you get those tape dispensers? Oh, these? Are you buying the tape already in them? Yeah. Tamiya sells um, sets that have the dispenser and like three rolls of the tapes in them. Or at least that's how Amazon bundles them up. So you, you can get them together. Or, but they do have the tape by themselves too. Yeah, these come in handy. These come in handy for sure. Uh, then we have the back... The back of the crotch plate, which is a booty plate. So maybe a little bit of poster putty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's do that. General, except in your head. Don't say a word until 30 minutes later. Like, think any words? Or actually, out loud, speak? Don't have anyone to talk to when I get up in the mornings. I usually don't interact with people exactly yeah i mean i definitely don't have anyone to interact with I, I i do live alone here i go several hours each day before talking at all yeah that's true uh we're just gonna jab it in here yeah that'll do it talk to your dog oh yeah oh yeah and i'm sure the dog appreciates that when I visit the folks, I talk to the dog there, the little pooch. Although our little pooch is getting hard of hearing. He's getting up there in age. I think he's going on 14 years old, I believe. So you kind of have to yell at the dog. A little bit. Hey! <laughs> okay. So. We've got some other fun little tiny pieces to work with here. What the hell is this? What is this? This was the heel. Oh my god. Dude has heels. Jeebus. Um, poster putty for that. No human to human contact until 30 minutes uh, later after awakening. 
Yeah, I mean, I don't see the first human like interaction until I normally get to work, which is a couple of hours after waking up. good place it down there get up at 10 one of you human contact till 3 p.m. yeah 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 that's that's pretty normal that's pretty normal I mean I hope it is that's kind of what I do Perfect. Perfect. Yeah, I think I think Daniel does have a few more pieces than than Spike. Let's get this over here. Uh, these are shoulder bits. We've got a mushroom peg and a ball joint. Nothing too complicated here. Uh, single if I'm home, I talk to my dog two or three hours before I get to work or hit up a drive through or a gas station for breakfast. Have to deal with humanity. Yeah, the longer the longer we can hold that off, the better, right? <laughs> Dealing with humanity. Jesus. <laughs> I don't know if I should go with the thin one. I'm going to go with the medium sized one here. Just listening to my sports podcast during my workouts count as human contact eh, I mean second hand human, human contact indirect human contact I would say I have a hard time trying to keep up with the podcast that I listen to I forget how many there are in total already then I think some more putty for the ball joints they're pretty small oh, and then we have last but not least Daniel's weapon which I think um, it also fits on spikes fists I think it's the same size peco which is nice Perfect. Looks like one of those um, Tesla coils. Perfect. And finally, last but not least, actually, is there anything that uh, we need to check from in here? Let's take a look. Um, I'm still saving the clear pieces. We're obviously not going to prime these up. They're going to remain clear. I am going to paint over the white section, so just to match the white paint that we're going to be using. We could probably sand these down a little bit though. I think we have a section where it was on the sprue. Looks a little bit rough. Okay, we might do that. But they're gonna get painted by hand. And I think this is the one for um, for Daniel. We're gonna go over that. Uh, we have the blast effects. We're again, not gonna prime these up, but I am gonna add a little bit of maybe clear red to the base just to give it a 
color differentiation. That's not a word, is it? Change up the color a little bit. Let's get this out of my face. <laughs> so no primer on that. And then we just have some screws. Okay. We're good there. Final masking of the stream. It does suck that it's a little bit hollow. Was there a reason for that? I think um, it's used in the transformation, maybe? I don't remember. But we're not going to bother trying to fill that in. Not now, anyways. We're already uh, past that stage. alligator clips left over so that is that put these guys over here put this over here put this over here nope 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 not there not there so we have all of our pieces ready I'm gonna go I'm gonna put up my uh, BRB screen while I set up my uh, airbrush booth. Give me uh, maybe about five minutes, five, 10 minutes tops, and we'll come back and we'll get these guys primed up. All right, I'll be right back. Here we go.
Welcome back. I don't know if you can hear me. You probably can a little bit, right? Thumbs up if you can hear me. Okay. It's going to be a little bit muffled. Apologies. You have to have safety first. <laughs> oh, shit. Hold on. My mask is coming off. <laughs> and I'm trying to keep my headphones on too. We've got our primer that we're going to use Alclad 2 lacquer. White primer and micro filler. It has a uh, little metal balls as agitators. I always need something to get this opened up. There we go. Now, there is going to be a lot of noise with the, uh, the compressor going for the airbrush. Probably not so much that, but the spray booth has a dual fan. So that's going to create a bit of noise. If it gets to be too much, let me know. And I can bring down the volume of the mic. Or I can just move it away, too. I'm going to move that away. So we don't hear that a whole lot. 
Let me see how it goes up on the uh, OBS here real quick. Yeah, I think that's too much. Welcome, Corey. Oh, Matrix Studios, hello. <laughs> uh, if I have the mic here closer, I think the sound is too loud, right, for the uh, compressor or the uh, airbrush booth. I'll, I'll keep the mic away, though. I'm gonna start off with the head. A lot of these pieces though, it's gonna to be tough to tell when they actually have primer because it is white plastic. Um, they're gonna get a lot a lot duller, they won't be as glossy looking. But at least for the back of the head, we can see the uh, the putty and we can see the, the primer being added on top. I think that looks pretty good. Tiny bit of an indentation at the bottom of the hole they got filled, but that's okay. We're not going to worry about that.
This section here is what got filled in with putty. Looks pretty smooth. You can tell a little bit from the edges, but that's very minor. Tip drying of the of the airbrush itself? Is that what you mean? That used to happen when I used uh, Vallejo primers. It doesn't happen with um, Alcor. With this stuff, it doesn't happen. Now, I think that might have to do with the uh, size of the needle of the airbrush. I think this one is a point, point 0.5. If it's happening with Tamiya paint, you might need to thin them further or add a retarder to prevent them from drying so fast. Absolutely good. And again, you can see the section where the uh, hole got filled with putty, and it turned out pretty smooth. It's not too bad. I like that.
Yeah, I'll be there in five minutes, bro. Five minutes. This is the first part for Daniel. And I do like the coverage on the screw. Up, oh, up, oh, up. Oh. And the putty part that got filled in. That looks pretty good too. Bottom of the thruster on the back, not too bad. Not too bad. Not perfect, mind you, but it's good.
All right, I'm gonna need a few minutes to prep up the primer for the nylon. So give me a second, I'll be right back. The tricky thing about the nylon primer, as I think I uh, did show in my, one of my regular videos, is that it goes on very clear. So right now it just looks like a like a glossy overcoat, but it, it's going to dry up just normal clear, which I wasn't expecting that, but that's what it looks like.
that's all the pieces. So let me uh, set everything back up to as before. Be right back. Thank you. 
Yeah, um, I actually asked Ryan to list every single G1 Transformer for me that he knew, so he's doing a good job. Actually, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I'm sorry. Ryan, are we getting a little bit spammy, dude? Let's 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 ease up. Let's ease up. <laughs> okay, but um, we have our pieces now primed up. And um, I'm going to show you here. Once again, the uh, the primer for nylon. Ryan, Ryan, <laughs> what are you doing? Ryan. <laughs> Dude, that forced me to take drastic action, Ryan. I like I like that you're here. It's already drying. And it's not as glossy as before. So it's doing its thing. When we come back next week, I think it's still gonna be a Sunday afternoon for us here um, in the on the Pacific time zone. Sunday at 12 p.m. next next week. And we're gonna start painting the white, the glossy white, just regular Tamiya glossy white. I'll show you. I'll show you how I go about thinning it, adding the uh, the retarder. I actually use but we use one. I think by Mr. Mr. Hobby. I think it's Mr. Hobby. That's it's called a leveling thinner because it has a retarder already included within it. So it basically what it does is it delays the drying process for the paint, giving it time to level off onto our pieces. Um, we'll we'll go over the white paint, and I think we might um, hand paint. Some of the pieces on the clear plastic, like like the, the domes, that's probably going to be it for next week. So it may very well end up being a short stream, shorter than today. Today we're at uh, 3:22, just a little bit over, which is fine. But because everything's going to get painted, um, well, most of the pieces are going to get painted white. We may uh, hand paint some of the pieces, maybe like the wheels. We can probably hand paint the wheels as well, because I don't think I need to airbrush this. Well, we might, depending on what color we end up going with. But I don't think it's going to be a long one. But that's, that's going to be it for me today. I want to thank you all for being here. Who do we still have here? Quite quite a few of us here. Again, it was a different time than uh, last week. So just to give you a heads up, again, next Sunday, 12 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, we'll continue on with part four of our customization of all of our core class goods. Thank you, everybody, for being here. I appreciate it very much. Again, I'll be on tonight in about two and a half hours on twitch playing prey if you all want to catch that feel free to do so links are down below and i will see you all next week okay have a good one everybody adios how do i how do i stop this thing well, how do I